Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. I pray everybody's doing well. well we've got some news. Uh, you know, this looming attack uh, that's pending against uh, uh, Adlib and uh, Russia, Iran, and Syria are preparing to take the uh, last uh, stronghold of uh, rebel territory uh back in Syria's hands. Now, I know that, that uh, Adlib itself doesn't have a, a tremendous amount of civilians, but they are civilians. And on the outside, they have uh, many civilians in the surrounding area. And, uh, you know, like the, uh, President Trump said, this if, if the attack, it's not if the attack, it's when the attack happens uh, by Russia, Syria, and you could throw in there Iran. Uh, you, you're looking at a humongous uh, humanitarian crisis, and uh, that uh, is uh, is sad. Uh, I want to uh, touch a, touch a, a little bit on this article from Reuters. Now I like using Reuters because Reuters uh, is really spot on with their reporting. Uh, they seem to be unbiased, and uh, well, let's let's uh, go over this article. The title reads: "Shells hit Syria's ad lib as rebel brace." For assault. Now, I do have a short video following this review of this article regarding Iran uh, support of an offensive uh, of it at Lib, and that's coming right after this. Uh, we address this article here. Uh, let's dive into the article. Uh, Barut Reuters: The Syrian military shelled the last stronghold of active rebellion against President Bashar Assad on Wednesday. As war, a war monitor said, insurgents blew up another bridge in anticipation of a government offensive. Uh, Damascus, backed by allies Russia and Iran, has been preparing an assault to recover at Lib and adjacent areas of the northwest and resumed airstrikes along with Russia on Tuesday at the weeks of Lowell. At Lib's fate now appears likely to rest on the results of Friday's Tehran summit between the leaders of Russia. Turkey and Iran, a meeting that Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei uh, uh, Ryab Rabkov, please forgive me for uh, mispronouncing that uh, name. I have I have trouble spelling. I mean, uh, pronouncing uh, foreign names. On Wednesday, said uh, would make the situation clear. Uh, Russia's Defense Ministry said Tuesday airstrikes had only targeted militants and not struck populated areas. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights war monitor said they have killed 13 civilians, including children, but no fighters. See, that's what President Trump was uh, uh, stating when he said uh, a humongous humanitarian crisis. And they would be a, a tremendous humanitarian crisis by the civilians that's in the area. Uh, and they are civilians in the general area. And they have nowhere else to go. They uh, everywhere they go, they get pushed pushed out, and uh, it's really a sad, troublesome uh, situation. Uh, you know, they uh, they there are talk that uh, Bashar Assad uh, is planning on using chemical weapons uh, in Adlib. Uh, you know, common sense would tell me uh, why would the man a man that is is uh, fits in the when the war use chemical weapons that will surely bring in uh, uh, power from the uh, United States and uh, the United States allies and could uh, tilt the war the, in the opposite direction. On the other side, uh, Bashar Assad could uh, use chemical weapons uh, with the belief that people will believe that the rebels staged it to get the United States and its allies involved, but uh, you know what is the truth? You know, it's uh, what is truth. It, it's really a, a sad situation, really a sad situation indeed. But uh, we'll know uh, here shortly what's the fate of Ad Lib, and uh, uh, because I, I truly believe it's not if they attack, it's when they attack, uh, and I think that's in the near, very very near future. Uh, the bombing is already starting in their uh, surrounding region, and uh, 
and it's in, uh, just the beginning, I believe, of a uh, intense offensive against uh, Ad Lib. But uh, with that in mind, we got a video coming up, a real short video. I uh, wanted to get it out to you as soon as possible. Hey, uh, thank you, uh, supporters of Jerusalem's Gate. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And if you haven't subscribed to Jerusalem's Gate, uh, we make no money from our channel. We do it strictly for the love of getting the uh, news out with the uh, Christian perspective. Uh, you know, in, in closing, uh, if in fact uh, the United States and its allies just say, just play the what if game, if they get involved somehow, directly involved somehow, uh, will this be the fulfillment of the scripture? Uh, Damascus will be a ruinous heap that many Christian uh, uh, news reporters and news channels have. Uh, frequently talked about um, uh, Jerusalem Gate included. Uh, I don't know. Only God reveals secrets. But it's going to be feel, fulfilled one day, and this is a, per, perhaps the closest it's ever been to being, be, being fulfilled. But with that in said, i got a, a video coming up. God bless you. And you're watching and listening to another broadcast of Jerusalem Gate, and here comes the video. Iran's Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif has held talks with Syria's President Bashar al-Assad as what could be the last major battle in Syria's war looms. The Syrian army is planning an offensive to recapture Idlib province, which is the last remaining major rebel stronghold. On Tuesday, Zarif said that Iran's military aims to help remove militants from Idlib with, quote, the least human cost. On Tuesday, Russian warplanes resumed airstrikes on targets in Idlib for the first time in three weeks. Al-Qaeda-linked groups are based there and Russia says it wants to defeat them. The UN has warned that an offensive in Idlib will result in a huge humanitarian toll. It says in the past six months, around half a million people have arrived in the province after fleeing government offensives elsewhere in Syria. Now it says they have nowhere else to flee to.